<laughs> now, you know, whenever I get the chance to head to Norm Murphy's Country House in, New in uh, Newtown, I, I love it. It's because we are always going to learn something new, whether we're decorating for the holidays taking place throughout the year. Every holiday, she's got something planned. Planting flowers, or eating something delicious. And I know you recently had a chance to spend the afternoon making Easter baskets. I'm excited to see this. Let me tell you something. Despite the fact that they're, they're going to look so professionally done, if I can make one, you can make one. Take a look. Welcome back to Newtown and Nora Murphy's Country House, and I'm just so happy to be here. Your house is beautiful. Spring has sprung, and we're doing something with baskets, Easter baskets yes, this time. Yes, I'm so thrilled. And this is a unique Easter basket. It's, we're going to throw a little chocolate in at the end, but for right now, we're talking, it's all about the plants. Yes, I, Country House is all about gardening. Right. And to me, let's start indoors. So I was very much um, inspired by grapevine wreaths. These and are spectacular. Aren't they beautiful? And, and you buy these or already made. Yes, these are from Terrain in Westport, okay. Connecticut, and I love that they're so wild looking. They're beautiful. These baskets are perfect for holding gorgeous flowers. And then my perennial favorites are the little violas and the pansies. Violas and pansies, and these are hardies. And what are these? These are grape hyacinths. Love these. Love these. And these have um, bulbs. So the beauty is when these are done flowering, you plant these out in your garden and they'll come up every single year. For now, they're going in our baskets. So what I would do, Scott, is let's turn them upside down, pull okay. them out of their pots. And it's very, very easy. And actually, we can even do it without, if you want to take your liner, this is a liner from the uh, a garden center. Okay, so you literally go out and buy a, a, a 45 cents to get this little liner. And you can cut it down if you want. Take a little soil off the bottom of the plant so it's not as tall. Make sure it's well watered and place it in the back of the liner. The viola and the pansies will go in front of the grape hyacinths. Again, just remove some of the soil from the bottom and tuck them right in. That's it. And now we put it into our little wild grapevine basket. Okay. And what's great too is you put these in sunlight and they're just going to keep growing and your grape hyacinth will straighten up all by itself. All right, so just to zhuzh up the basket even more, Nora, you found this at uh, Shakespeare's Shakespeare. Garden. What, what is this? It is very cool. I didn't know what it was either, and I asked. It's twine. It's like a wire twine okay. that is encased in this, like, rubber. And what I love, it's the color of grass. It's beautiful. And it's a little distressed, so it looks a little, like, mossy or dirty. Right. And I think this is kind of like a nice, unexpected, modern way to tie something. Absolutely. So, And then you can go to NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com and print out these beautiful tags and then you're going to put the person's name on it who's going to get this beautiful basket. Yes, that's Mama. Mama. And then you're just going to use that twine, that green twine and tie yes. it right to the thing. I'm going to do that right now. And um, the tags are one sheet of bird's nest and one sheet's sheet of birds and they're a little watercolor art. And it's as simple as that. And it's always fun to add a little bit of chocolate. There's a local chocolatier right here in town. It's called Castle Hill Chocolates. And they've made this beautiful bark. Easter bark. Easter bark. <laughs> so what I'd like to do, I don't know if you would object to this. I oh, like to, I love that. I'd like to tie this right to my basket as well. All right. I think that's fantastic. And just hang it. Nobody can say no to chocolate. And then you just display it like right to the side and you get a little bit of chocolate. That's adorable. Need a little something smaller for a child or hostess gift? Nora's got a smaller nest in mind. These are wonderful little nests. Little nests. Fake nests. Fake nests. But you buy these at, where did you get yes, these? I got these at Shakespeare's Garden in Brookfield, Connecticut. Okay. And, and it comes with this little liner in it? Yes, this it's fantastic. I want to say this was probably, I think, 5 or $6. Okay. And all I do, Scott, if you want to take one. Sure. And I'll take, a, I'm going to take a little pansy. And all you do is tuck it in with your thumbs. Push down. Done. Done. Look at how beautiful that is. Quickly plant this up. I love this. Look how sweet. I mean, they're just so sweet. And it's so sweet. And you show up at somebody's house with this, or they come to your house and they see this, they're going to think that you spend seven hours doing this. Yes. And the, the, the wow factor is simply incredible from both of these. Yeah, they really are. They're really great. They're beautiful. Mmm, love it. So pretty. All right, coming up in just a few days, Nora's going to show us how to dye the perfect Easter eggs. Kara, uh -huh. wait until you see how these eggs, Easter eggs come out. And again, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Setting the most beautiful Easter table is also coming up. That's going to leave you
leave your guests saying, wow. Oh, excited for all those ideas. Absolutely. Easter's coming up. Yay! In the meantime, you can always head to NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com for some inspirational ideas and recipes. Look for a link to the new kitchen issue of her online magazine.